Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha HaMashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. Today is the 5th of November 2023. It's um, 5.23 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm going to do a trade recap here on a trade I did on Bitcoin. But I'm going to break it down from the one hour chart and then go over to like um, the five minute chart. All right. So let's see here. All right. So on the 17th of August. We had this um this sell off and we had this um supporting wick buy right here. So I'm treating this like a preliminary stop. And um let's see. Open across here. Let me just open that up a little bit so you can see the wicks. Right? So August 17th, wicked out to the bottom after this big selling. Had this sell off here, nice kind of trend to the downside, big sell off, big buying came back up to roughly 50% um, retracement on that. So I consider that a preliminary stop. So let me see here. If I could just label that real quick. All right. So right, that's the preliminary stop right there. Creating phase A. Well, the beginning of phase A right there. This was the auction reaction right here the automatic reaction sorry so that's where um where you get the stoppage and then you have this automatic kind of rally or reaction to the upside right so when it pulls back from that so when you get the automatic reaction here when it pulls down and creates the support again basically roughly around where the preliminary stop is this is our secondary stop and it creates the bottom of the range right so that's the bottom of the range there secondary stop and this now goes into phase B. So phase B is normally kind of volatile, but this one just ranged at the bottom here. We had a little shakeout from the bottom, um, pushed up into the middle of the range, moved sideways and basically started to move upwards again out of phase B. So phase B wasn't that volatile for um, other than the shakeout. And then we had this little rally here. So moving into phase C, we have this push up, this up trust out of the um, auction resistance, pull back, move sideways, broke down, got support here at this um, VWAP level, and then we pushed out of phase C. So when we pushed out of phase C, we moved into phase D. And let's see, phase D is up to this level right here. Right, so... Let me just spread that out. So I have other little um, reaccumulation phases and stuff, but I'm going to just bypass that for now. So we had this breakout of phase C. Right, so we had this sideways movement. Then we pushed out of phase, phase, um, phase C. Hold on. I think this is phase D. Let me don't get them mixed up right. So this is phase C right here. We had the breakout, right? There's phases within phases, so I don't want to get I don't want to get mixed up with this big bigger phase C compared to the one we're actually looking at. So this is the smaller phase C right here, this one right here that I'm highlighting. And when we broke out of that, we broke into phase D, right? So that that will be phase D right here and move that back a little bit right so we're in phase phase d right now so within phase d we're supposed to get a little pullback and a continuation right so we had that pullback continuation and we broke out of the top of of phase d right here and now we're in phase e right which is this level right here so we are, we're in an uptrend right now we're in phase e we're breaking out we have this this bullish um flag pattern right here but let me show you the trade i ended up taking today right so let me just throw on the camarilla levels these are the weekly we have the weekly camarilla r3 here we got we got that rejection at 35991.6 right so let's go down now to the five minute chart Right, 
and let's see let's let's just point out the camerillas so the camerilla s3 today is at um 34941 um camerilla r3 today is at 35 27361 right so we actually have a overlapping higher value relationship where camerilla r3 was here yesterday and now Camarilla S3 is just below it. So we, it didn't push above it. So we have an overlapping higher value. So this is suggesting a moderately bullish kind of thesis. So we're supposed to get some breakout at least um, follow through, through above R3 and probably above R4. Maybe get some pullback at R4, right? So moderately bullish is the thesis on this day, right? So you can see moving across here, we had our first rejection. Um, breakout, false breakout. We came back, we retested it, didn't get up to Camarilla R3, got up to Camarilla R2, rejected it, and barely got up to R2 here, rejected at this big rejection, moved down to Camarilla S3, broke below it, got some supporting buyers here, and we came back and tested Camarilla R3 again, right? So what this is saying to me is that yes, we have bias because it's a bullish um, bullish trend or a bull flag, but um, we actually today we're actually getting sellers here, Camarilla R3, right? So when I saw when I saw these three rejections right here, I started to sell when we didn't even get up to Camarilla R1. I just took this sell right here. Now. I was also looking at the volume point of control, so I was looking at this as the these two lines right here. Let me show you. Those are heavy volume nodes, right? So we have the the auction in between them, and now we're having the breakdown. So I was going for the breakdown of this um, heavy volume node as well, right? And then if we're looking at VWAP as well. You can see that we have the breakdown of VWAP right there. Just before I entered, so I entered just above VWAP. Let me make that bigger. Just above VWAP and took the fall right there. Took the short and broke down from VWAP, broke lower VWAP, um, lower VWAP deviation band here at um, 34.985. So my entry was roughly around like um, 35.081. That was my lowest entry. My highest entry was 25.082, right? So as we started to break down, I was looking at um, VPOC as a potential target. Also, I was looking at the money zone value area high, which is this level right here at 24.858.35. That could have also been like opposition, right? So also was looking at Camarilla S3 right here as well, which was lining up with this lower deviation, second lower deviation band right here, which is this green line moving down. Right, so was looking at all of that here for support. So we broke down. We had a little congestion right here. You see, we pulled back and we tested the value area high. And then we sold off from there again. Let's see. And we finally moved down to the um, low volume node on the outer edge. So it was basically like a mean reversion trade as well. Because it wasn't like a Camarilla R3 rejection to Camarilla S3. It was further than that as well. So that's why I was aiming for this was my target here. Um, I think it's... Let's see, I have to average this um, around here at 34.569.17. That was my um, my take profit. All right, so let's see how much how much that was. Let's say roughly here to here. So 531 points, All right? Yeah, and that was my trade for today, so... Bitcoin is kind of bullish, but just looking at it from the hourly chart, it's looking like it's ready to, to probably lose some of this up, upward momentum, right? And in the bottom of this channel right here around, let's say, 
34391 is where we have to start getting buyers again to uphold this um this upward channel right here you know All right so that's the upward channel right there so we gotta hold this level right here to maintain that or else we'll probably come back to weekly Camarilla S3 at um, 23086.24. That's the first level I'm seeing right there. And see, looking at the money zone, we have the value area low down there as well for support at um, 23.652. And let's see the weekly pivots. Oh, that's the monthly, right? So weekly pivots. We have the pivots here at 231942. So that could be a possible um, support. We have the top central here at 23864.33, right here. All right, so that's top central. Let me just clear this up. This is the central pivot. This is Camarilla S3. That's creating a golden pivot zone. I like to mark out those. Once they're um, close proximity, I like to mark them out. So that's a golden pivot zone. Um, we have central floor pivot and another level is in um, the same proximity. So that's a golden pivot zone right there. All right, we have the top central pivot right there at 33864. And we have the bottom central here. So. This is a space here for price action to come back and play around in if it wants to pull back for more buyers. All right, y'all, so that's my trade recap and my little breakdown analysis, technical analysis on um, on Bookmap and, um, and Trading View. Actually, I didn't switch over to Bookmap, my bad. I was going to show you all some of the, the movements it was having around Camarilla R3. Let's see. Um, hold on. Camarilla R3 today was 35273. So let's see here. Right, so around these areas here is where um, it was rejecting off of Camarilla R3. We had the pullback and then we started to break down again. And this is current price action right now. All right, y'all. So it's Malak Shalomo. I hope you all enjoyed the, the breakdown and the recap and um, the technical analysis on Bookmap. And let's see where we go from here. We have this, we have buying here happening at around this low volume node at 34,500. Back up to VPOC here at um, 34,695. So let's see if price is going to recover now. All right, you all trade safe and stay blessed.